couple of uh, announcements that I want to make. Number one, uh, Trudeau over in uh, Saranac, which is a world-class uh, institution and has been for many, many years. And it's a special part of the history of the North Country. Uh, we were in danger of losing Trudeau. About 80 jobs were currently at Trudeau, and we were in danger of losing all 80. Trudeau was going to close down, pack up, and move on. Uh, and that would have been an economic tragedy for the 80 jobs. Uh, it would, also, would have also taken a special part of the North Country, uh, which would have been gone. Um, we have uh, worked very hard, and sometimes out of crisis comes opportunity, right? And we took the Trudeau closing as an opportunity to find a different relationship uh, and a different synergy with Trudeau and a different business model, uh, which we found. Uh, Clarkson University, which is doing phenomenal, phenomenal work. Uh, we're very excited about Clarkson as an individual entity. They are masterful uh, in engineering and in new technologies. Um, our plan is to put Clarkson together with Trudeau. Trudeau, master of basic research, re medical research, infectious disease <coughs> research. Uh, Clarkson, master of the high tech and engineering research. Make that marriage. Bring those two institutions together. Today we're announcing a $35 million, five-year New York State investment in the develop development of a biotech initiative jointly jointly led by the Trudeau Institute and Clarkson University that will spur new education, research, and commercial commercialization opportunities uh, here in the North Country uh, and indeed in the state uh, and beyond. Uh, why Clarkson and why Trudeau? And I'm going to let actually Ron Goldfarb, President of Trudeau, speak to that issue because he speaks way more eloquently than I can. But let me give you a hint. So this is a very newly published book. It's, called, it's by actually one of our preeminent uh, faculty members in chemistry, distinguished faculty member, Egon Matijevic. Uh, and it, the title is Fine Particles in Medicine and Pharmacy. So Clarkson, and, and this is, th there are 12 authors to this. All, 11 of them are Clarkson faculty members. And so when you think about what's happening at Clarkson, and then you think about infectious diseases, the solution for them, and you start to put it together, I think this book really gives you a hint of the future. I would say that the work we're going to do has the potential not only to be explosive in the Adirondacks uh, but, uh, and in New York State, but throughout the country and even on an international level. The kind of programs we're thinking of uh, could really revolutionize uh, different approaches to uh, biomedical research. One really pure basic research, Trudeau. Clarkson, a global powerhouse in engineering, and frankly, in, in practical and economic and business applications of engineering sciences. I'm very excited about uh, this arrangement. I think it's going to work economically. I think it's going to work for the North Country. Clarkson is doing great stuff. They really are. And Tony Collins, who's uh, from uh, head of Clarkson, is also the head of the Regional Economic Development Council. He's very entrepreneurial. Uh, I have uh, great belief in him, and I think it's a, a business marriage that's going to work for both parties.